exercise, ladies, you want to make sure that you are on your ball, kind of in your back, like centre of your back, like this. We're going to put our feet out, like that. And you want to make sure that this line here is completely straight. So feet, like a nice table. Imagine eating your dinner off the table. Put your arms behind your head or by the side of your ears. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down and thrust up. And as we come up, we're going to squeeze our bum cheeks as hard as we can. And this is how we're going to get a really nice, perked, rounded bottom that us ladies all want. So just keep squeezing as you come up. And don't forget the slower and the harder you squeeze, the more you're going to feel the burn in the workout. So we're going to do 15 of these. Breathe in as you come down, out as you come up. And you want to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So really thrust those bum cheeks, ladies. Okay, next up we're going to get onto the floor now and we're going to put the ball underneath our ankles like this. Make sure you're nice and comfortable on your back. And we're going to put our hands beside us like this and now what we're going to do is we're going to thrust all the way up like this. So basically what this is going to do, by doing it on the ball, you're actually engaging a lot more in your core because you're having to make sure that the ball stays still. So, so you're making sure that you're using your glutes, your core and you're stabilising yourself with your core and your legs. So we do 15 of these. Make sure to squeeze those bum cheeks as you come up and release coming down. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. I'm going to show you one of my favourites now to do on the ball and that's a sit up. Basically I love to do sit ups like this because I know a lot of people find it hard with their back but this is brilliant because it's got a lot of support here and it's cushioning. So what you want to do is bring your legs underneath you like this and we're gonna bring our hands behind our heads or by our ears and we're just gonna crunch up. And you wanna just make sure that when you crunch up you're really squeezing your midsection here, your core, your abs, and you wanna lift up sort of like this. Don't, you don't really wanna be doing that. That's the common thing of people getting a sore neck or a sore back or not feeling it in the abs. You kinda of wanna leave your head back and you wanna lift up literally with this, so you're crunching <laughs> with your abdomen, oh, like this. And you'll really start to feel it if you do it right here. Nice and slow, nice and controlled, and crunch. And we'll do that 15 times. Okay, so for the next exercise, you wanna put your feet onto the ball like this. We're just gonna, <laughs> this is what I love about this ball, it's so much fun. So just walk your hands <laughs> <laughs> I've got the giggles. Like so. And we're going to bring out like this so that they're kind of underneath your feet. We're going to have our hands underneath our shoulders. We're going to look forward at all times and we're going to bring the ball up here. So you're kind of bringing it up as if you was kind of going to squat on it with your feet. And then we're going to bring it back down. And then we're going to bring it back in and out. So looking forward. And you should really feel that burn on your abdominals. And it's great as well for toning and strengthening your arms and your shoulders. Okay ladies, so after you've finished your abdominal exercises, you always want to make sure that you stretch. One of my favourite ways to stretch is to come down here onto the floor, put your hands under your armpits like this, and we're just going to push back. And you want to look all the way up. And just hold that stretch for a good couple of minutes if you can. Come back down, bring the 
hands further towards your belly button, sort of back, and push up again so you get a deeper stretch. I also like to do what we call pussycat stretches, and these are where we push our belly buttons right down to the ground like this. So you're pushing your bum up and your belly button down. Your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are hip, hip width apart. We're gonna push down really, really hard. So you're really forcing that belly button down. We're gonna hold it there for about a minute and then we're gonna suck our belly button up and do it the opposite way and hold that for about a minute. Okay hey guys, and that's it from me today with my exercises. I don't know about you, but my core and abs are burning, which is really good. Don't forget you can pick your Avon ball up from an Avon representative online or from a brochure, and I'll see you soon. Bye!